Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. This is episode 47 and we're still in the month of October but we are going to devote this episode to a landmark event, a landmark building that we've been talking about well pretty much since the beginning of the series and that is we are finally going to put in the sugar mill. The question is which one we're going to put in and where we're going to put it in. Right, so it's going to be around here somewhere in our industrialized area, in inverted commas if you want to do that. The first thing that I... I looked around at a couple of um, different sugar mills. I was hoping to get a smaller one to fit in the area that we already have next to the uh, juice mill. But the smaller ones are just too small, and so I just looked around for s something slightly different. Now look, I found this sugar mill, which is supposed to produce fairly quickly, and looks pretty good. And now it's just a question of where to put it with the least amount of disruption <laughs> to the crops that we've already plant planted. So I did look at possibly putting it behind the potato processing plant. I think eventually something will go in there. Um, but I'm just not sure yet. And I just didn't like it down there. I didn't really want to put it down there. Also was creating a bit of problems with uh, having to having to uh, level out land and such like. So eventually I've decided that it's probably going to need to go where I originally planned it, planned for it to go, but just didn't leave enough space. Well, I think perhaps I could have put the, um, the juice processing plant a little bit closer to the clothing plant but um, I even looked across at the area in front of the cow shed but yeah I, I don't really want a, a big industrial plant at the front of the farm maybe there no still keep coming back to the same place I think we should just flip it around though we have the tanks towards the back we will lose another little bit of the big field. It won't be a huge amount. I mean, it's, it's such a big field, but um, we'll work that out. The land is not quite flat, but I should be able to get it in without too much landscaping. There will be a little bit of a dip down from the from the uh, juice place, uh, processing plant down to the sugar mill processing plant, processing plant. Of course, some of the sugar will be going into the juice processing plant to make the lemonade. Now that we're producing our own lemonade, uh, uh, our own sugar, um, the lemonade becomes slightly more viable. Still not as, in my opinion, as uh, profitable as some of the plain juices that don't take sugar, that have no sugar added, but yeah, we'll just try and produce all the all the juice we can there just to give variety as well. Right, so you can see these little dips, we'll smooth those all out. We'll put the uh, asphalt down to all the get that sorted out as well yeah I'm not going to be doing any leveling as such I'm just going to smooth it out so that the you, you can see there's a slight incline there it's not too bad nothing that most of our machines well I'd say there's very few machines that won't be able to handle that get through to the back here. All this crop will eventually um, 
come out just around the around the plant we'll make that kind of blend in as much as we can into the into the farmland as I said we are missing some some there some oh, what did I, I was gonna say we're missing we're not missing anything <laughs> we are we are losing some crop but not too much I just need to blend it into this road here the road is going to change a little bit it's especially on the corner it's going to lean over to one side but that's not too much of a problem either right. just squiz around in the a slight there's a bit more bump there it's not too much of a problem we'll uh, so we're going to blend the the back of that part into the uh, into the field so not going to worry too much about that right so let's get the asphalt down and we can uh, well blend it into the industrialized area we'll in increase the little area around the back here just to uh, make it easier to get vehicles around there should we need to we'll uh, put it amongst the amongst the silos at the back here as well make it look all neat and tidy give us a little bit more room to work at the back here yeah looking nice and industrialized <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's nice or not but uh, yeah in keeping with the rest of our productions around the farm one of the reasons I want to hide it around the back of the farm so well, not hide it, but we'll keep the front part looking quite traditional. This is the area that I said where the roads will slope down a little bit more. We will make that an entrance. We'll put another entrance sort of round about here somewhere. Yeah, it's looking good. That's a lot of, uh, I'm not going to say it's the last of the productions that we have here, but it's um, it's looking like uh, most of the productions that we would need. Of course, we, um, once we've got the sugar producing nicely, um, I think the next big purchase for us production-wise is probably going to be the bakery. Um, I don't think we're going to even do bread. Uh, I think we're just going to go for the high-end stuff. Um, pumpkin pies, I think, is the one, and uh, and and cakes. So this is me just attempting to blend this kind of into the field. It does mean we lose a little bit more crop, but we just put a bit of uh, meadowland between the crop it also be be easier for the for the vehicles to work around I don't really want to square it off completely we'll just lose quite a quite a bit more cropland we'll just um, have to uh, adapt so we'll we'll just do the whole back of the industrial area we were losing little bits of that that corner just by using course play not too much of a problem we'll put some meadow land down now or meadows down not meadow land it sounds like something a pop star would be living in <laughs> uh, I'm thinking of Graceland got nothing to do with it it's just my 
brain going off at a wild tangent again. But this just blends the back of the industrialized area. It doesn't, it doesn't look like we've just stolen from the from the crop field, which is essentially what we have done, but <laughs> we're trying to make it not quite look like that. So it's only going to be really be this little top area and we've always had a bit of up and down in this area so it's a big field. There's plenty of other field to buy as well and this will bring in a lot of a lot of money. Right, let's have a look and see what we can produce here. We put sugar beet in, that's basically what's going to be our main source of sugar. Right, so now we need to get a harvest the least and we need to get the the field harvested I think. I'm not, once again I'm not going to make it too unrealistic, I'm just going to up the speed a bit and yeah, so we'll just up the power a bit as well to get that extra speed. You know, uh, yeah, 26 miles an hour is fast enough. I certainly we don't want to go 150 miles an hour. It's a little bit unrealistic, it just but it just adds a little bit to it adds a little bit quicker harvest. I don't think we'll get a million liters of uh, sugar beet from the fields um, but we will get substantial i would i would imagine we'd get well, we've only got the top field to harvest the bottom field is only going to be harvested next month so uh, maybe 400,000 liters between the two fields i think we'd get close you know close to 750,000 i would think maybe a little bit more a little bit less, I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, I've made a mistake here. I should have changed the harvester to a brighter colour. Oh, it's such a dark colour, it's, it, it's not always easy to see filming wise in the field. Never, nevertheless, it's been done. Um, we'll uh, have to live with it for now deep purple color just load up the well, that's not the right side I don't think no it's not I have to ask them to deliver it to allow me access to the loading areas a little bit to the pickup side a little bit or make the pickup a little bit easier <laughs> The delivery guys obviously just didn't want to clutter up too much of my of my working space, which has still got the big auger in it, so the big conveyor belt, whatever you want to call it. Let's get back down to the field now and get her harvesting. We are making this a little bit tight in here for some of the bigger machines. It's not too much of a problem really. This is just a um, fixed wheel based machine so even though with the um, back wheel steering it's still a little bit A little bit cumbersome in terms of its turning circles. Now I did have a problem with trying to get this to work on course play. Of course with all the field adjustments we did it just wouldn't do it. So I'm going to have to do this manually and uh, we'll just start from here. We've, as I said we've I've trundled around to different 
different places on uh, on the field to see if I could get course play to work. It just wasn't working for me now. Sometimes it will work again in different vehicles, and, but for this vehicle it just didn't want to work. It's probably for the, with regard to the big turning circle that it has. But in any case, it's not a problem. We'll get this started. And uh, yeah, we'll show a bit of it. And then I'll jump cut to Oh, how far down? Oh, it must probably be until we've uh, got our first full load. That's the other thing. I don't know whether I showed it um, when we were buying it. I did make it um, and slightly un... It's not really slightly, it's quite an unrealistic um, load. Um, so, so this harvester will, uh, will take 250,000 litres, I think, before it needs to be be emptied and because you harvest such big numbers that's of of this crop of sugar beet and so quickly when you use the normal capacities you especially when you're playing playing on your own um, you uh, you can't keep up with the with the harvester basically even on normal speed it's just always getting full, which is a good thing, of course. This just makes it a little bit easier for me as a solo player, especially now when our um, farm is so big. Getting around all the jobs every every month it takes a bit of work, but I love it and I'm enjoying it. As I say. Um, going to keep playing playing this map and doing these sort of monthly there we go that just shows that we that won't be ready until next month um, these monthly recaps keep you guys updated on the on what's going on what I'm essentially doing is I'm playing the game for relaxation between the other series the eco farm series that I'm doing and the new series that I've started on um, well they're essentially mod reviews but uh, it's not I'm not reviewing every single mod that comes out there's lots of people who do a much better job than I on doing those daily mods that come out um, so I'm doing ones that interest me that well not necessarily interest me that I find interesting slightly different or mods that I like using that I find good value and just creating a bit of a discussion around around them in any case we're just about full in fact I think we yeah we not quite full but we're just about full You can see we've done quite a bit of of the field, but we've still got. Well, I would I would say well, it's probably not quite half, but I mean, it's still a, it's still a good half, a good size of the field to be harvested after we've emptied this out. I'm not sure we'll be able to get through another full full pass, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll get to the top of this this pass, but I'm not quite sure of the rate that that's filling up. No, we didn't. All oh, naughty, naughty driving across the crop. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Right, let's go and see if we can offload directly into the into the into the facility. I don't think so. I don't think so. Quite tight. No. No, it doesn't look like it. 
so we'll have to we'll have to transport it it's not too, too much of a problem we can plot fairly closely on the field we'll park up uh, fairly park the the harvester fairly close on the field that's tell you exactly what we are thinking <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll go and get the one of the big trailers and we'll just ferry it across it'll be about five trips to empty the the harvester but if we're close enough that's not too much of a problem I think we've got 52 or 53 thousand liters in one of our trailers here we'll put the put the big vent on the other trailers can handle the the other tractors can handle this trailer um, but they take a little bit just to get it moving I think even the vent takes a bit to get it moving but I always like playing with the new machinery <laughs> Uh, yeah. Right. Let's get this done. The other good thing about this mod is that it offloads very quickly. I think, and I've just thought of something. I probably won't do it uh, this time around, but in the future, I think what we can do is we can put a little conveyor belt in I don't know whether the conveyor belt will be able to handle the speed of the offload of the of the harvester probably not ah, it's not going to be too much of a problem just offloading we'll show it to you this time um, in this episode the offloading and it'll probably just be a Fleeting look. Hey, we offloaded a, we put a whole lot of sugar beet into the into the sugar plant in the future. <laughs> right, let's get that activated. So it'll be sugar beet. I'm not going to go through the sugar beet cut. We'll just do straight sugar beet. There we go, and we'll put that to distributing, so we can distribute to. The well, there's two places so far that um, that need sugar. The the apple processing plant needs sugar for the um, honey apple, and the what is the uh, the juice plant needs. Um, Need sugar for for the lemonade. So yeah, Just trying to remember which crops, <laughs> which um, which productions need sugar. And then, most probably in the next episode, we will purchase the the bakery, and we'll have to get that stocked up. Because probably we'll need milk. We'll have to start delivering some pumpkins there, um, get sugar distributed to their strawberries, um, and maybe butter, I think. I'm not quite sure, but we'll get it all checked out. But I think we've got everything we need to produce cakes now and um, pumpkin pies. Which is good, that was one of the things that we set out to do when we started to produce pumpkin pies. Taken a while, but uh, we're getting there. We're just about there. How many loads is this now? Is this the fourth load? I wasn't counting. When I was busy thinking about all the money we're going to make when we make pumpkin pies and cakes. <laughs> yeah, always thinking about the money. Here we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it's blended in. It's a little bit square there, but that's not a problem. Yeah, we're probably going to get fairly close to another. Well, I don't know. See, I don't think it'll be a load, but it won't be far off a a full um, full harvest load. So this is going to be two hundred and fifty odd thousand liters. Yeah, so we'll get we'll get we'll get close to half a million liters. Then we still got the bottom field to to harvest. So. Yeah, I think it'll also be not far off a million liters. We'll see. We'll see how my my judgment is when we have to harvest next month. This probably won't show a huge amount of the harvest. We'll just show the start and finish of it again next month. October, November, so we started to get into close to winter again things will slow down a little bit then but uh, yeah we've had a very good summer a very very good summer in terms of how we've grown bringing the money in get the bakery bought start repaying our bank loans and then we'll look to see where we go from there. As I say, I'm enjoying this series so much that I will most probably keep playing it um, and then just doing little recaps once a week or so. Let you know where we are on it and perhaps move on to another series, but not sure yet, just yet. This has surely got to be the last one now. It was. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's get get harvesting. We'll finish this off. And I didn't drive over the crops this time. I drove all the way around and up the harvested area already. <laughs> does help to take myself into a corner and give myself a little talking to every now and again. Incidentally with this mod you can put a, a wide pickups on. In fact you can make it quite unrealistic. Uh, this is already unrealistic but um, you can make it mega unrealistic, let's put it that way. Right, so we're just about finished. This little couple of little passes here and a bit of tidying up to do. And then that field is done. Haven't quite worked out yet, and we'll work that out, out next month, I think, uh, as to what we're going to plant here. Let's we'll probably get it ready and put potatoes in or something like that. Uh, We'll have to just have a look and see how much we've still got in the potato process processing plant. We might have we might be able to plant a season of wheat or something like that in here just to um, just to give the the field a well I'm not gonna say a rest but <laughs> a, a change of crop. Uh, there's quite a bit of sugar beet over there. Yeah, I'm thinking we should get to a, to a million liters, and that should uh, keep our sugar plant going for quite a while. Just not quite sure how long, but yeah. But we'll look at that next month. You know, we'll get this done. Well, I might look at it. We're still relatively early in October even though we've done so much. Um, it's the advantage of playing on it at, at real time. I do play at real time just so that I can get all the jobs done. And then if it does get done early, then um, obviously I just 
sleep until the next month or rest until the next month which is probably going to happen in November and December, January maybe even February while um, we get through the winter months there will still be protections etc that will need it to be cleared right so I'm just thinking about doing slightly different or to create a more efficient offload production chain or offload chain should I call it so if we park it there and then we can just loop around instead of coming back to the field I think I will experiment with a um, conveyor belt and uh, just see if it does does work but I just don't think it'll be fast enough I think we'll end up with heaps of um, of sugar beet lying on the ground this but this might just be the most efficient way of doing it I think we've parked it a little bit too far forward we're gonna have to reverse every time I'm not going to change uh, steel anymore of the cropland um, to accommodate that we'll just work it as as it is yeah it's not too much of a problem in the future we'll be doing smaller fields uh, of potatoes and sugar beet um, just to keep topping up so these two fields that we've just that we're taking sugar beet out now maybe one will be potatoes and the other will be sugar beet and then we'll just be alternating those fields uh, that's the idea and we're not going to plant these huge fields um, with uh, root crops we stick with our canola and wheat at the moment those are the two products that we need maybe a bit of barley is you know alternate the wheat with barley uh, the canola we should alternate with sunflower I suppose so um, yeah actually that's a good idea you know, once we've done this big canola harvest I think we'll put all those fields to sunflower that'll look nice yeah that's what I think I'm gonna do I have just about the whole farm in sunflower fantastic it'll look brilliant so that's something to look forward to in the next the next season well, it's probably going to be the season after now because we, next season we'll be harvesting all these uh, all these canola fields yeah this is not too bad I'm wondering whether we should put a no we're not going to do that and so I was wondering whether we should put an oil um, refinery on the on the farm, but no. We've got an oil refinery. It's in in town. We'll leave it there for now, at least. Well, that's that. Just about done, I think. Or is it? Going off on tangents while I'm doing these things and thinking about the future of this uh, fantastic farm even though I say so myself yeah it's just a little bit left in there and that's it that's our sugar mill built our first harvest in there it's just under 500,000 litres in there I think that's where we're going to end this series and this month. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!